Mark 117 is a very famous verse, but one that in today's culture, it can be very difficult to translate one of the words. Kai apin altois ha iesus, duta opisomu, kai poieso humas genestai halies anthropon. And he said to them, Jesus, so Jesus said to them, follow, and duta is an interjection. It kind of looks like an imperative of some sort, doesn't it? Second person plural. But it's maybe initially a long time ago it was, but today it's classified as an interjection with imperatival force. Come after me, epistle is followed by the genitive, and I will make you to be, right, infinitive of ginomai, and then fishermen of men. Now, Jesus is picking up on verse 116, where it says that he saw that they were fishermen, but now they're going to be fishermen of men. And this is a word that's really hard to say. I mean, fishers of men is so ingrained in most of our minds that any other option sounds really odd, but we don't talk about fishers anymore. So they were fishermen of men. Well, they fished for people was the idea, if you want to be sensitive to the uh, gender language issues. But there's just no way to make this sound smooth unless you go with fishers of men. But I think that day is probably past. NESB says fishers of people, ESV, fishers of men, NRSV, fish for people, same with CSB and NIV, fishers of people, NET, NLT goes, I will show you how to fish for people. Just because of the translation theory between the NLT, there's often, so often, in these kinds of situations to find nice ways to say things. And Jesus is going to go out and teach them how to fish for people is certainly what the passage means. So simple phrasing, not a whole lot of help here. Jesus said to them, follow after me. And as a result, he will make them, or when Jesus is speaking, I will make you to be fishers of men. So you probably want to indent this a little, and this probably the same amount. You remember that Ginnamai takes a predicate nominative, so fisherman is in the nominative. 